Alright, Dan, we got a video to shoot. Can we shoot this? Yeah, yeah, yeah here we go. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. All right, we rolling? We're rolling. We're rolling? We're all rolling. right. Welcome everyone to today's video. This might not be the most interesting video you've ever watched, but it is one of the most important ones if you are a Kindle publisher. It's well, also one of the most requested videos because it's it something is. we've never talked about before. It is. Uh, right. It and is something is. very important and it is to make sure that you check your keywords for trademarks before you publish them because publishing trademarked keywords is actually the number one way to get your account terminated. It is the and that quickest is route to getting your account terminated. To termination nation. Uh, so that is why this video is extremely important for anyone. If you consider yourself a Kindle publisher at all or plan on it, you, you have to watch this video. You have to go through this process before you publish a keyword just to make sure you're allowed to make books about it. So let's dive into the computer and show you how to do trademark searches on your books. Before we do that, before we do that, let's go back to Stevie a little bit. Hi, big boy. Hi. Oh, okay. Well, you know, it's here. Now let's transition into the computer. Wait, can we do one of these, Dane? Hell yeah. Oh, oh, oh take this transition out. I had a home run. You ready? All right, we are now sitting at the computer and before we jump into it, let's first define what is a trademark. So right? we asked Google right here. Google says a trademark is a symbol, word, or words legally registered or established by use as representing a company or product. I'm already very scared because they use the word legally. I don't want any legal issues. So here's that's what why you don't want to infringe on trademarks. You get into legal trouble. Here's what the big problem is, right? It's companies that have spent a lot of time and money building a brand of their own. Mm -hmm. And then here you just come in and you use their brand to make money for yourself. Yeah. Right? And, and that's money they should be making themselves. So they obviously don't like that. I'd be super pissed if someone came in and took my brand and started making money off of it. Which you actually are allowed to because our name is not trademarked. Yes. Shit. It's literally in the process right now. Uh, yes. But it, yeah, these companies have bought the trademark. They paid money to make sure no one else makes money off of the brand that I built. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there are lots of examples of this of people doing this within publishing. So now let's show you exactly how to check. We're gonna go here, USPTO.gov. This is an official government website that you're gonna do all your trademark searches on. So it's really important that every time before you like publish a book, whether it's start writing it or order and have a ghostwriter begin writing it do a trademark search because there are a lot of trademarks that a lot of people have no idea you're not allowed to make books on. Mm -hmm. So, and we're going to show you a few examples of that. So here we are on USPTO.gov, go to trademarks, search trademarks. And it's a little slow, eh? Ah, here we go. There we go. Just go down, click on search our trademark database. They have a whole trademark and official trademark database with all the registered, well, trademarks. Uh, then you're going to click here, basic word search, new user, right there. Uh, so this is where the search for the trademark begins. So let's start over here. Uh, before you can search the trademark to check it, you're just going to want to click live because there are things called dead and live trademarks. People purchase a trademark for, say, 10 years. And then after 10 years, if they don't renew it, it becomes dead and then anyone can make money from it. So if it's dead, it doesn't apply. We just want to filter those out and only look at live trademarks, okay? Right. So we're going to give you guys a few examples. We're going to run some keywords that we already know are trademark, and then we're going to show you guys how we know that. Yeah. Right? So, so a few really infamous publishing trademarks. Let's do that. Yes, yes. Let's start with the first one. What should we look at first? Let's start with Weight Watchers, okay. shall we? So here are a few that we've looked at before. Now, I can tell a little story about Weight Watchers. Yeah, we both had Weight Watchers books back in the day. Back in 2016, beginning of 2017. It was one of my first five or ten books that I ever published, mm -hmm. and um, you published it first, and I, like it worked so well. He was like, "Holy shit! Oh, I amazing. gotta make Weight Watchers books." And like, I'm a I'm a little kid. Well, I was like 20 at that time. I didn't know what the hell was. I didn't know trademarks. I didn't think about that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I made a book about it, published it, and it was up for about. Mm, six months probably. Mm. How and much in, in money? In that six month span, it probably made me twenty thousand dollars. That yeah. one book. Yeah. So like, yeah, that was a good book. Yeah, that was a good book. Weight Watchers used to be the most fire keyword. Mm -hmm. Now what happened is that book got taken down for trademark yeah. infringement. Yeah, yeah. But when you did I it, up. when both of us did it, we had no idea. I didn't even know what a trademark was. 
I had zero clue that you were not allowed to make books about Weight Watchers. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's show you how we know you can't make books about Weight Watchers. So we searched Weight Watchers. Here come up a list of 103 records. This is a shitload. Uh, normally there are not this many things that show up, but simply what you're gonna wanna do is just open up, create a new tab of every single word mark that is what you're searching for. Mm -hmm. So right here, Weight Watchers, Weight Watchers, all these other ones don't really uh, apply. The other ones that are appearing are like WW Fresh, probably Weight Watchers Fresh. Now yeah. it's probably some brand, some branch off of Weight Watchers mm -hmm. thing. That's why it's coming up. But I'm literally opening up every single one of these tabs, mm -hmm. okay? So when a company registers a trademark for their brand, it's not like they could just trademark a certain word for everything in the entire world. They have to register a certain trademark for a certain product or service. So what we're looking for is checking that these words or keywords do not have trademarks on books. Specifically, so it will say in the registered trademark that this word, brand, whatever, trademark is registered for books so that you're not allowed to recreate any books using this word. Mm -hmm. And that's also why you'll see for Weight Watchers, there's like a bunch of different trademarks for Weight Watchers. Yeah, and, and there'll be one for books, one for t-shirts, one for yeah. computer games, whatever. Yeah. Right? So Weight Watchers would register like 20 different trademarks for a bunch of different things that apply to their business. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll check this first one, Weight Watchers. Uh, food delivery was the first one. So you can't have a food delivery business with the name tra uh, Weight Watchers. Mm -hmm. uh, this next one, alcoholic beverages, namely wine. Can't make a wine business called Weight Watchers. Next one, providing a website featuring information in the field of recipes and cooking. Okay, that's a bad sign that it already says that. Now, if it ended here, well, okay, now we're on this one. If this one didn't come up, then we will be allowed to make books about Weight Watchers because there's no trademark specifically against books. If those were all the trademarks that mm -hmm. were registered on USPTO.gov, we'd be good. But here, this next one, it says publications, namely magazines, books, newsletters, diaries, cookbooks, instructional teaching materials. The rest doesn't matter. We can literally X out of all of these. Weight Watchers is trademarked for books. Uh, you can't make a Weight Watchers book. Now you know. Now you know. Right. So, shall we move on to another example? Uh, the most yes. infamous Kindle publishing mm -hmm. trademarked word term, uh, uh -huh. Fortnite. Let's check it out. Let's yeah. see what it says. Uh, so, if you want a little bit of a background story on Fortnite, there are a handful, uh, there are a lot of people in Kindle publishing who are publishing books about Fortnite and making like, I don't know, 10, 20K a month from one book. Uh, it's insane. And it's not allowed at all. It's completely illegal. It, anyone can do it because Fortnite is just like the easiest thing to make money in. Mm -hmm. um, so it is not allowed. We will show you how we know this. So let's open up. Now these. there's like 20 of them. Yeah. Let's here. open up all these Fortnite ones. It might be the first one. It m might be the last one. But it's important that you do your due, gil that you do your due diligence and check each one of these uh, trademarks. First one, bicycle lights, dive, la, 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 la. no, not it. Next one, signs, information. Search books. Boop. Yeah, what you can do is go like this. Search books. Okay, no, nothing shows up for books there. Let's do that for all of them. Book, nothing shows up. Troll F, book, nothing shows up. Troll F, book. Okay, no, book, book bags, but that's not a book. So that's okay. Troll F, book. Book bags also. Again. So Fortnite, let's keep on looking. Let's open, open up five. some more. I'll open up three, four, five. Let's search for that tr that book trademark. Control F, book. Oh, three results. Boom, here we have children's books. Party ornaments of paper, picture books, story books. Books about the topic of Fortnite are trademarked. And here it says children's books, but they probably have additional ones. Let's see what it says. Children's books. Let's keep looking uh, because what I'm talking about is more like gaming guides, gaming manuals. Here, Computer, here we have computer game instruction manuals and video game hint books. books. Oopsies. Yeah. So not allowed. That is what a lot of people have been making shitloads of money with in Kindle publishing is making like these video game hint books uh, and like Fortnite manuals. Now you were able to get away with it for quite a while, right? And yeah. you could make a lot of money in that time. You could literally make a hundred K in six months with it. If but you run ads and do everything right. With every one of these terms, it's just a matter of time before yep. your book is taken down and your account gets terminated. You're playing with fire. Mm -hmm. So uh, you might get 
a trademark strike, meaning like a warning, but normally the second time you are gone. But now I think actually uh, Amazon has gotten a lot more strict about it to the point where if you have one trademark strike, you can get terminated. But you got to be careful Completely as terminated. hell. You got to be careful Very as careful. Hell. Like there could be something that you have no idea has a trademark on and I will show you an example. Uh, I am guilty of this one as well. Sell South Beach diet, just like a typical diet that's about like eating fruits and shit, um, low carbs or whatever. Uh, it just seems like the innocent diet like the Mediterranean diet or keto diet or low carb diet. Those three diets are fine to use. I checked on all of them. Those are fine to use. But South Beach diet is not okay to use. I made a South Beach diet book back in 2017. When I learned about it, I was like, no, this book was doing well. I had a sick uh, cover and everything. Yeah, but, but it never got taken down. You took it down. I, I had to take it down. Just because you knew the yeah. inevitable was coming. I'd already had, I'd already had two trademark strikes. Mm -hmm. uh, one on Weight Watchers and one on Instant Pot. Mm -hmm. Both of which I had no idea uh, was not allowed. We were just ignorant and At the time, stupid. When, in the beginning, you don't know... A lot of things. Okay. It's going to close. Uh, let's see. So, oh, South yeah. Beach diet, food supplements, vitamins, mineral supplements. Uh, let's open up a few more. So, there we oh, go. So, the second books. one, books. Printed guides, brochures featuring topics related to weight loss. That was that, that answers the question. South Beach diet is not allowed. Um, let's do... Should we look at any more? Or that really gives you a very good idea yeah i mean people get the point at this point so this is how you know this is really the only thing you have to do to check for your trademarks if your word or Look. keyword or brand is mm -hmm. trademark for books can't use it if it's not you're allowed to make books about it i right? want to give one final example of uh, a term that has trademarks on it like facebook has a bunch of trademarks on it mm -hmm. but if i'm not going to go through all of these but if you go through all of these, there will not be one that says you're not allowed to make books about Facebook. Mm -hmm. So talking about Facebook, talking about Facebook advertising, Facebook marketing, how to grow a Facebook page, how to go viral on Facebook, that's completely allowed. You're allowed to make a book about that. I feel like for them, they're so big that for them, it's just extra exposure. You know? Yeah, you're not going to... They're so big that they don't care about selling books on it, you know? Well, I mean... Uh, the, it's not stealing away from their business at all. Yeah, they don't have they don't have books. They want people to run Facebook ads, so they want books about Facebook ads to be out there. But it is possible that they register a trademark for it at some point. Uh -huh. That's entirely possible. Right now, it's completely allowed. Uh -huh. um, let's quickly have a look at all these social networking software, computer hardware, computer software, uh, cards, namely identity cards, uh, computer databases, processing, cards, networking, social, yeah. So uh, that shows you exactly how to check for trademarks on keywords before you publish books about them. One last time, make sure you do just one quick check. It won't take more than a few minutes before you write a book about a certain topic. Yes. Make sure you're allowed to do it. Yes. Yep. That wraps mm. it up. <laughs> so thanks for watching this video. Magic what? emoji of the video. Oh, okay. It has to be the policeman. It has to be the policeman. <laughs> because you're just going to get in trouble with this. Yeah, so if you want more publishing tutorials like this one, uh, comment. No, well, don't, well, you can't comment. Actually, do comment with the wee woo thing. Uh, <laughs> like the video. Subscribe for more publishing yeah. tutorials. Look at all our other videos. We got a bunch of publishing tutorial videos so you can learn everything about how to build a publishing business. Yes. Let's just be honest. We do have the best publishing tutorials on YouTube, so you do want to subscribe. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> no, you can't say that. Uh, turn oh. on bell notifications, all that good shit. All right, yeah. see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay. Ah. We gotta, Woo! We gotta film